What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. In this episode, we'll be working on the diffuser here. Now, in the last episode, you guys saw me making the mounting brackets that I'm going to be using to mount the diffuser to the car. Um, plans have changed. I'm still going to be using those brackets, but I actually have a different plan. Now, initially, I just wanted to use the mounting brackets and call it a day, but I figured since we're going to do all this work, we might as well mold the diffuser to the car. So, um... I'm pretty much going to mount the diffuser and then I'm going to go ahead and add some fiberglass and Bondo and smooth it all out. Hopefully the end product will be seamless. That's the plan. So let's get on with it. All right. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I actually already filled in the gaps how I wanted it. Um, it's almost finished. I just need to do a little bit more touches here, but I figure I'll wait till I mold this to the car to actually finalize everything. So right now, as you can see, I already got one rivet ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the rivets into the brackets itself. And then I'm going to go ahead and rivet it all down just to secure it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some fiberglass just to cover up all these seams over here. All right guys, so I got the diffuser pretty much riveted up. It's on here pretty solid now. Um, it's not going anywhere. So next I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sand down this top part here, the out outer edges, that way I can go ahead and apply some uh, fiberglass right over the top. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my cloth, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting out strips. Um, I'm probably only going to do about one, maybe two layers of fiberglass. So, take my razor blade. So about this length here. Alright, just so you guys can get the gist of what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm just going to be layering the fiberglass just like this along the edges all the way around um, and then once it's all set I'm going to go ahead and pretty much bondo it and shave it all down just to get it all smooth and then hopefully it'll look pretty much seamless so that's the plan now I'm going to go ahead and put some resin up on these fiberglass now all right, so I got my fiberglass resin right here with the hardener already inside. So now I'm just gonna stir it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove it like this. Take my brush and just kind of brush it on here. That way, I can take this and just kind of press like this. Remember, it's always a good idea to have gloves on. This stuff is a pain to come off of your hands. I got it pretty much all fiberglass all the way around. So now we pretty much just gotta wait to let it pretty much dry. Um, I tried to push the fiberglass as much as I could down into the crevice over here. That way it gives it a little bit more cleaner, sharper lines when I go ahead and bondle it up. So now we just gotta be patient and wait for this to cure and then sand it down and add just a little thin coat of body filler and we should be good.
All right, guys, so for the most part, it's actually pretty smooth. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the bondo and just evenly spread it lightly around the edges just so that I can go ahead and blend it in properly. Um, but yeah, like I said, for the most part, it's pretty smooth. Um, it just needs some little fine touches here and there with the bondo and then it should be good. So let's go ahead and mix up this bondo right here and spread it along the bumper. Alright guys, so I got the bondo all laid out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then we're gonna go ahead and sand it out. Hopefully get a pretty good finish. If not, we're gonna go ahead and have to do this one more time. All right, so I'm gonna go run it. All right, so I just finished the 60 grit. It's all knocked down smooth now. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and fine tune it with some 220 grit. All right, so I'm done with the 220, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray some primer on here. So that way I can see where spots that need to be touched up a little bit better. All right guys, so for the most part, the diffuser is actually finished. The only thing left to do is to go ahead and wet sand it and then it'll be ready for paint. I also need to finish the rear fenders and I'm still debating if I'm gonna vent the front fenders or not. Um, once I figure that out, the whole car will be ready for paint. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, see you next week. All right, peace out.